The DMV now allows those applying for a driver's license to identify as male, female, or non-specified as noted with an X. Those requesting the X must provide an updated birth certificate or a legal document from their doctor. That could soon change. Today, a House committee amended an unrelated bill that says the only way to get the X is with an updated birth certificate, which is more costly and time-consuming than a doctor's statement. I feel like we won something quietly, um, and as soon as they heard about it, they came up with one way to make life harder for us. Lane Bannister is transgender and wants to replace the M with an X on their license. Lane says it's important transgender people have that option. People will still make assumptions about my gender. My driver's license is not going to change how the world sees me, um, but it's one aspect of validation, and uh, it's important to me for my safety and how I interact with the world. We reached out to Representative Holly Smith, who co-sponsored the amendment, but she told us she was late for a meeting and couldn't talk. Other lawmakers failed to get back to us. Instead of extending um, protections and rights to trans people, we're now rolling back options. Katie Blair with the ACLU says they're hoping to defeat the amendment. I think that there's a lot of education that needs to be done on, with legislators on both sides of the aisle, and uh, we're very hopeful that we're able to show them how, how horrible this bill is. And so that amendment, which was added to a transportation bill, did pass out of that committee on a 10-3 vote. It now goes to the full House where it could be changed, dropped, or basically left as is. We don't know. So as that wrangling is going on at the State House right now, you can still get this X designation on your driver's license right now, right? That's right. As of now, and even with the proposed change, you still would be able to do so. But remember, they say that getting your birth certificate changed is a lot more costly and time-consuming. So that adds to the burden of, of trying to do that. The unknown is whether lawmakers will come back and possibly even remove that as an option as well, hmm. using your birth certificate. Oh, all right. We'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Mary.